GPS tracking technology for livestock. It isn't a new concept, but Texas State University is taking it a step further. The school is teaming up with a company that's developing solar powered ear tags. In this week's Tech Essay, I show you what else the technology can do. Right now we're doing a value engineering analysis on it so we can bring it down to about the size of that uh, solar panel there. And this sits on top of the cow's ear. And the sensor package is underneath so the ear slides in through there. And yeah, then the magic happens. This is a prototype of a solar powered ear tag with GPS to help monitor cattle. And it's on top of the ear, so it gets the solar energy to be autonomously powered, so you don't need to do battery changes. And it has a sensor suite on it, so accelerometer, body temperature, etc., GPS, and it's running algorithms on the animal's ear, on that device. So it's really important that we know where these animals are because they're a critical part of our economy and a critical part of our food security. Maeve Garrigan is founder and CEO of Roper, the company behind the device. She is a research and development engineer who was inspired to create the device after visiting ranchers in New Mexico. So I was in New Mexico visiting with ranchers and they were telling me about all the problems they had with wolves that were attacking cattle in the Gila National Forest. And as I got a $120,000 grant from the state of New Mexico to work on the project, and as we're going through it, we find out that there are some real serious issues that are broadly applicable to ranching that we can address with this technology. Work on the project will be done at the Freeman Center at Texas State University, a location used for research. We kind of have marked a central location to put kind of the, the station that's going to collect all that data. But yes, the cows are going to be all here at the ranch. Garrigan is working with Elizabeth Benavides, assistant professor of animal science at Texas State University. The solar tag will also track the cattle's health. So is there a rising temperature and can we correlate to that to some kind of disease that that animal's suffering? So if there are ways that we can intervene to save them earlier on in their life, that's a better outcome for everybody and better beef. <laughs> this is a prototype of the new technology that could impact 53 million beef cattle in the U.S. The U.S. Department of Agriculture says there is 13 million beef cattle in Texas. Our state continues to rank first in the nation for total number of cattle and calves. By 2050, we're aiming to feed 50 million people and we're we're out, the population is outpacing that production, the scale that we have right now. So these technologies are essential in order to help move that forward. Again, right now, the device is just a prototype. The company is working on making some tweaks to it before creating multiple devices. The goal is to start the research at Texas State with the official devices in six months.